Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Kevin, and welcome to my shop. Tis the season for decorations, and using your house inflatables, lights, and then using social media to have ideas to hang up those lights around your house. So I'm going to be talking about my unique way to hang up my lights. So let's get started. way for hanging up lights is with magnets. Now I know the good old trusty nail and screw hanging from the fascia of your house works perfectly fine but however after you take off the lights your fascia on your face looks like a picture of pinhead. I'm a United States Air Force veteran and amateur woodworker slash maker and DIYer so the term flush is embedded in my personality. After seeing videos on YouTube of people using, you know, those magnetic clips to hang up, you know, the lights around their house, um, over time, you know, exposed to the sun, that ABS material starts to break down. So I had to come up with a, you know, unique way to hang them up and with minimal maintenance. Now I did some research on Amazon on magnets and these were the two that I came up with. And as you can see, this is 100, this is 25. This one covers more surface area. And it's almost an exact fit. Actually, it is an exact fit over the strike plate. And you can see, uh, it's kind of hard to take apart. Um, we just recently had some rain. And so far, with, with the icicle lights, these 100 pound magnets is holding up California. We have the Santa Ana winds, which easily could knock, you know, maybe the 25 pound weight off if I was holding bicycle lights. But this 100 pound uh, magnetic has been holding really strong. And, you know, it's rained several times um, and it never fell off. The possible tools that you're going to be needing for this project. Uh, you're going to need a drill driver uh, or a drill. Um, this one I use is from Makita. Um, you'll be needing a, a countersink, a, a, a speed countersink. I got this one from Irwin um, from the big box store, uh, but you can find them at Harbor Freight as well. And uh, it's not necessary, but I like to pres preserve my tools and my bits. So I use a all-in-one lubricant like this. You'll need the 25 pound or 35 pound magnet. We need the strike plate, which I just dropped on the floor. Give me a moment. Which is this, the strike plate. And then I am using a one inch wood screw. And you can use a two by four um, to screw into. That way you don't screw into something like your table or, you know, you have some a sacrificial kind of board or a bench vise, and that's what I use um, hands-free. It's it's easier. Didn't use it, but you know, you could quite possibly, if going too fast, get some metal shards flying up. You wanna protect your eyes. And I have some nitrile gloves that I use, and I also have these uh, metal filers, which come in handy, because it's you're able to get like any metal shavings or anything stuck that's sharp right here this one goes on the inside and i'll show you in this one i use for the outside and you'll need some some drill bits if you want to pre uh pre-drill your holes i didn't but um you you could and there's there's two that you could use these are like the tapered ones um and then i have brad point drill bits and i got these from harbor freight which i'll also link in the description show a video about how i prepare it and the final product on the side of my house